Yeah, getting back there, training every day, so I feel good. We all saw you gain the injury. Tell us what happened in the few weeks after that, how you went back getting it sorted. Uh, well, I had an operation on it last time and it came undone, so basically they just had to wait to see how much damage was actually done to the last operation. So for the first few weeks I just stayed at home and then we finally found out that it had a fracture in the back and a cyst, which was, I don't know how it's got there maybe from the last operation, but then from then on it's just been re really rebuilding it after the operation. So. Is it a painful one more than stopping you doing stuff? Uh, shoulder? It was, yeah, it was painful to be honest. It's the worst pain I've felt, but it's more annoying that it's, you can do things like with your legs, but you can't train or play because it's obviously your shoulder. So, but you can't come back too early either, otherwise your operation could come undone. So I had to book back my time really. But you're now back at the real business end of the, the season, knowing that City needs some wins, and then you could be in the playoffs and going for promotion. Yeah, well, obviously it's a good time to get back any time, but with how many games is left? Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah, with ten games left. Because I thought I was only going to get the last four or five. So with ten, it's a massive, massive bonus. So hopefully I can get some wins and some goals. Why do you think you've come back ahead of schedule then? Did it just healed a bit quicker than what you thought? Uh, it did that last time, to be honest, with my shoulder. So I don't know. Maybe they just get put an extra couple of weeks on for their safety. So. As well, your form going into this last, do you feel 100% yet or do you think something something you're going to keep building on, building on week by week? I don't think I'll ever feel 100% but obviously it's just the games and then I could get some more minutes and then obviously build from that. It's obviously starts that you want and maybe some goals because that was maybe the one thing that was lacking from your play at the beginning of the season before you got the injury. Yeah, I got a lot of assists, I just couldn't find the net so hopefully I can turn it around now and get the goals instead of the assists. Why do you think that was? Big John seems to get all the goals. Unselfish work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Uh, big game, of course, this weekend against Boston. I don't know if you saw the game at Boston earlier in the season when you were out, but it was a poor performance that afternoon by, by City. The manager just, just told us he feels as though the squad, the whole club, has a point to prove this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Well, if you do lose the first game of the season against them, you obviously want to get revenge and beat them, so... Every game from now to the end of the season is a massive game, so you can't really say it's bigger than any of the ones we've had recently. So hopefully we can just get the points and kick on from here. The manager talks a lot about the mentality of the players and not being strong enough. Is that something you see, or do you think that's something you just got to continuously work on? I just think I just think it's individuals. It's like you've either got it or you haven't. I don't know. It's not like you can't build on it really. I think if you're just born to be a leader, you're a leader. Do you know? I think he sees it the fact that um, the results against the top sides in the division have been so much better than the, the results and the performances against some of the, the smaller sides. When York are expected to win, that's when the team seems to have struggled. I think that's because of the, every game to do lower teams, no disrespect, but it's like a cup final coming to York. So I think they're always up for it, do you know what I mean? So, and when we play the top sides, it's basically just two top sides going together. And the positive to come from that, I suppose, if you do get into the playoffs, you know you're going to be playing those top sides and that hasn't really been the issue so far. No, we've done well against the top sides, to be honest. I think I don't think we should ever worry about any, who we play anyway. So, What are your aims then between the end now and the end of the season, as a team and on an individual level? As a team, obviously, to get promoted. Like, if it's through playoffs or if it's straight up. So, and then for myself, it's just to work hard, get back fit, get some goals do well for the team and then see what happens next year if I can get another contract. And if you play it at the weekend, clearly there's going to be no John Parkin again. How do you think that changes the way that you play or the way that the team plays if John's not available? I think we have to go into it in a different kind of way. I think with John up front, obviously a big man, big target man, can play balls off him. With, if it's me and Kempster, then you've got to look to feet a bit more or behind down the channels. So it's not really it's not really a disadvantage. Obviously John's goals were one of those games, but we can we're capable of just winning the game anyway. And we talked to the manager about the penalties over these last few weeks. I know you were one of the, the guilty parties, yeah. shall we say, in that reserve game. How do you go about taking a penalty if it comes to it in the playoffs? Do you did you know in that reserve game where you were gonna put it if you were awarded one? Is it just something that suddenly comes no, into your head? I changed my mind last minute, you should never do that, but I've normally all right penalties, I got scored eight last season, so but I don't know, well I suppose it was a reserve game, it didn't really count to be honest, but if I get one in the league, I'll make it count. But has that got a lot to do with confidence, do you think, all the players? Um, You've got to be confident to want to take a penalty, haven't you? Yeah, well I was confident that day, but then I've missed. Um, yeah, it is confidence, obviously you want someone who can, 
he's going to go up and be confident about scoring, not other than someone who's got in the back of the red they might miss. So, yeah, it is confident, so... Make sure you score next time. Yeah, that's what I need to do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, as an attacker, is it all always about scoring? Do, we, or do you? I mean, you're only one behind Sean Newman in the assist table. Would you like to take some pride in finishing top of that pile? As um, well? Yeah, obviously, it's good to get the assist. Well, it's more about the points in it, really. So, yeah. obviously, it's nice to score. Yeah. But then, if you can get assist to create goals, it's just as good, I think. Yeah, yeah, and that. The, Shape of the team's changed a bit since you last in it. It's four two three one. Do you, how do you feel that would suit your game? Do you think it is? Too uh, much your game? I, to be honest, with it, I like playing up front. Like I'm not really a winger, so I like playing up front. So that suits me a little bit better. Yeah. But then obviously it's just about the team or getting the points. Like whatever formation, wherever you're asked to play, you're just gonna play to get the team going. Yeah. So in that position, you you kind of see yourself as the middle one in a three. Would that be? A yeah, that's what I played all, yeah. all my career really. Apart from when I came here, I just played off the striker. Yeah. So it's not nothing new to me. I suppose I can do it. I can do the other one as well. So. Yeah. You touched on being out of contract obviously in the summer. Would you like to stay at York City? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I like it. It's a great place, great club. It shouldn't even be in this league. So. Hopefully we can get up to get promotion and then see what happens next year. Yeah, you've obviously been free to speak to other clubs since January. You should be out of contract. Are you aware of any other interest in yourself? No, not really. Time? I've just been just been dedicated and getting back fit and getting back in the team and not really. Nothing's. It wouldn't, I wouldn't bother talking to anybody else. Whether it was if I'd been told or like if I'd been told I weren't getting anything, I wouldn't bother until yeah. I just get back fit and just do it for myself and then see what happens from there. Yeah, perfect. Thanks a lot, Louis. Cheers. Cheers.